Hello, good afternoon. Um, how bored are we all now the bank holiday weekend is over, like we notice any difference? Um, yeah, due to popular request, <laughs> I am doing some more jewellery. So some more bits and pieces to show you from a haul I received a little while back. I haven't looked at this. I have literally divided it into two because it was quite a big lot um, of about two kilos each. Um, and I'm going to do half now and then half I'll save for another day when we're all equally bored again. So um, I'll ask you to pick the right hand bag or the left hand bag <laughs> like we did last time. And that's the one I'll pick out and have a look at with you. I haven't looked at it either. So it's, it's exciting. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Hair dye going on there. Well, I given that up a long time ago, as you can tell. <laughs> Hi, Lex. Yes, Lex is chafing at the bit here. Hi, Julie. Hi, Mandy. Hi, Leanne. Hi, Antoinette Daly. Oh, I keep thinking I'm going to sneeze. Right, we've got a vote for the left. <laughs> Naturally. Mm. So I had to have a cup of tea before I could get started. I'm in a bit of a muddle and a mess here. I had the, the delightful doofuses. I mean, my homies are pretty good, I find. But... Um, I had a parcel come back to me, um, and I've no idea why it didn't get to the poor customer. And the post office around here is a right kerfuffle, to be perfectly honest. And I wasn't going to go through all of that and going out more than I need to. Um, I don't mind going to my little corner shop that do my my homies because I can go in the shop be the only person in there, do it all very safely. But our post office is within a shop within a W H Smiths actually. And I just don't really want to go in there hanging around in an enclosed environment with other people. Um, put myself at risk, really, just to post a parcel. So I've given her a refund, obviously. Offered them a hoose of apologies. But hey. Oh, sorry. I'm not, um, I'm not ill. I'm quite well. It's just I'm a bit hay fever today because there's a lot of pollen about. So we've got we're left. People are going for the left. Your hair dye is grey. Oh, I see. All right, okay. A different shade of ice. This is the big bag. And we're going to go for the one on the left, which is this one. I literally divided out the box because I needed the box to post something, so that's really what prompted all this. And as soon as I'd had a fear, I thought I'd really want to get, get going with all this. So um, here we have a bag of goodies. There we go. There's about probably a bit over two kilos in this one. Um, oh man, my nose itchy. So we shall start with this lovely bag of treasures. <laughs> I remember spotting this in in the pictures, and although it's mingingly grubby, I'm trying to work out what actually scratches and what's just surface. Do hickeys. I like these where they have the, that looks much better, doesn't it? It's cleaner. Uh, peacock feathers are universally popular. I adore them so much so I practically have those colours everywhere in my house, apart from this room that you're seeing here because it's never really been decorated. Um, that looks a lot better. It's a little grubby, I feel, the contents of this one. There are some surface scratches, as you can see, but, uh, you know, who knows? Those chunky bangles. I'm sort of doing the big bangles first. Get a snack, good idea. Sort of wipe these as I go. I always feel that's nicer. Now, I always like these bangles that are asymmetrical. I think they're quite popular. Whether I lock, lock things up or oh yeah, I don't honestly know. There's a sticker inside this one, so we'll get rid of that. Yeah. Oh, dear. That's a grey one. It's a strange colour to have for a bangle, isn't it? But I suppose it's a neutral. I'm making a little pile of bangles over here. I'm seeing, actually, I think what happened was when I grabbed them to separate two bags, I think you're going to find this one is mostly the bangles. Chonky. Yes, chonky. And wonky. <laughs> What's this one? This one's just a bit strange. Um, it seems to have a plastic inside. And then this is the sort of like a woven, I wouldn't say rattan, but it's definitely a woven kind of arrangement. Ah, now what's not so good is that little band. 
and I expect that's on there to cover a join. I'm imagining because it's a bit manky and I would prefer it removed. Uh, but hey ho, we can always look these things up, can't we? Oh gosh, they're everywhere. The stretches. That feels very light and rather cheap, sort of made of plastic bits. I'd say cheapy, but it, it's light. So we're definitely getting the bangles out of the way. Now that's a stretchy, but it's kind of made to look like feathers on metal. Yeah. Oh, the thought of wearing chonky bonky. Hello, Aid. <laughs> part of a donkey. <laughs> Which part we're not going to ask. So it's definitely a day, an afternoon of bangles. I think once we've gotten down through the layer. Um, yeah, I quite, it's that sort of turquoise colour which I quite like, to be honest. I'm definitely seeing a lot of bangles here. So we'll deal with those first. But this is a gold tone one. And it's, oh, I see, sort of metal on the inside and a kind of plasticky, not a keyword, clearly. Um, so, ah, I hate these little things. There we go. Doink. Um, there. It's actually quite a nice, cool looking bangle there. I'm going to have a, I'm going to have a lot of bangles going on here. Oh, now, isn't every batch? Yeah. Broken. I don't know whether I just did that, but every batch you get those in, don't you? Those sort of bits of shell that are Right, okay, well, I probably go that one by being clumsy. Oh, I say. This is a bit full on, isn't it? It's got a bit of string tangled up in it, so get out. Now I can show you it first. There we go. Oh, plastic beads. Um, quite a full on sort of thing to be wearing, I would have thought. But it seems to be decent quality. Hang on, it's got a little label here too. Coast. Oh, it's Coast. I sell their dresses, actually. Coast dresses, although they're more occasion dresses than you get this time of year. And I guess this is the sort of thing you'd wear with one of their dresses. Um, quite a nice, decent quality clasp. You're going to hear my cat meowing. Now, it looks like a little bit of this has come unstuck, so I may have to revisit how that re-sticks in them. I just thread it through there and glue it back to itself. Yeah, I think that's what I have to do. So I'll put that to one side because I've got some glue here. Which I was very, very proud because I've actually repaired something. Like, oh my God, that hardly ever happens here. Um, oh, what do I do with it now? Excuse me, there we go. Uh, I'll put it, put it away, haven't I? I actually repaired a little abalone Mexican butterfly. Um, it's a pendant. Um, and I stuck its abalone back on again, which I was quite proud of it. That cat's not that hard done by. He'll sound like he's... Um, <laughs> he'll sound like he's never been, never been loved. But what happened was I put him out just before starting to do this because he likes to sit on my work table. Okay. Well, all of these comes with bits of string all over them. This is just, ah, now I was going to say it's just a clamper bracelet because you look here and you can see, but when you open it up, there is a watch inside. It's quite cute. I don't think it is anything particular. Charm. That says charm, so that's I'm not a brand I know. <laughs> oh, I will. Read the chat in a minute and say hello to people because I'm very bad at that. Charm Quartz Japan Movement. Okay. Probably needs a battery. I would imagine it's going to be stainless steel. Well, I can't really see there. That's kind of a bit useless. Charm. Doesn't look badly made. And these little, um, little diamantes. Little rhinestones around the top. So that's quite sweet and probably worth a little look at just to see if it's 
if it's got any value. Mm. Oh yes, this is one my son bought for me. Don't let the muggles get you down. <laughs> Harry Potter themed, of course. It's all about the keywords. Yes, Lex is, is the goddess of keywords. This is true. Most definitely. <laughs> oh, Andy, 30 kilograms. Wow. Okay, that, that's going to keep you busy for some time. Film it. It helps us all stop being bored. I love I watch old haul videos just to have something to go on because I miss sorting. I Oh, I've got itchy fingers. I want to get out there and source. Leanne's asking, regarding YouTube, we play chat when catching up. It's disappeared from the right side of the screen. I can't see it on the, oh, a Mac. Oh, yeah, I'm not Mac friendly. I have no idea. I know sometimes if when, like when this finishes, and it will eventually, it won't last forever. Uh, when it goes up and you can watch it back, quite often the live chat isn't accessible for a while. I don't know if that's because it takes longer to load up. That could be a general thing or it could just be me. <laughs> 30 kilos. I mean, yeah, wow. And Japan movement sounds like reasonable quality. Yes, and film it. <laughs> film how you sort through 30 kilos. I think... Um, Karen, uh, Karen says clothes, Karen, um, definitely, definitely has the whole of the century waiting. I mean, uh, live strings are never going to go miss. These are very large pink bubblegum stretchy bead bracelet. Just doesn't suit me. Really. It's not my sort of thing. It isn't all bangles, but it is beginning to look a bit that way. Definitely one for stretches. I don't mind stretches that have some stretch in them. This has actually got it's just got a slightly different colour, sort of sprayed on between. So there's no stones in it. Um, it's on a stretchy there. It's quite, quite decent. I'm not going to say all stretchy is necessarily cheap and nasty or anything like that, because that's not always the case. Oh, thank you, my favourite Steve. <laughs> and your favourite witch. Oh, now that's, oh, now. I wonder if that's a fella's one. Sadly, I can see it's missing a couple of its little stones. You can just see that there's one missing there. And but there again, I have inadvertently in my travels acquired broken jewellery that I might be able to find ones that are um, that can possibly replace it. Never there. I think that's a man's one actually. So that's quite big. I've not got the world's biggest wrist, but it's got a magnetic clasp, which is so much easier than fiddling around with those little things. Pink Harpy, you're not too late. I haven't been long started. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a shame it's missing those couple of little stones. And they're right on the outside where you would see it, but obviously where it's got knocked. So we'll have a little look at that. That might be something I can do something with. Because I think repairing jewellery is something I'm very new to, if I'm going to be completely honest. Very new to it. But there's something quite therapeutic about that. This is a very cheapy bangle. It's because the join is very clear to see. Um, and it's very light. But it's a metal one, so I go with a sort of metal metallic lot. Well, that's a bit sad if there's only one. Go with a pearl earring. <laughs> there may be another one in there, but fashion jewellery is exactly what it says, I expect, so we'll leave that one there. I don't know if do a bag of solo earrings or put them in a craft a lot that somebody might want to use at some later date. This is a little bit on the loose side with various large beads, all sort of plasticky, nothing amazing there. One for the crafters, perhaps. Ooh, a little thing for a bag. Oh, this is a stretchy too. Quite a nice design. I was hoping it was a clamper. Um, it's obviously quite old because the colour of the <laughs> string, stretchy stuff inside has changed. Um, yeah, yeah, it's all loose. Yeah, it's probably not got much of a thing on it, but it's quite a nice, these are quite nice. Quite a nice thing. Again, there are some of these sort of little stretchy BD necklaces, uh, necklaces really, like that will go around someone's neck, um, little bracelets that can, can be made by good makers. 
So they are always worth a look. This one doesn't seem to be anything special. And it's got a little detachable. That's kind of cute, really. That's kind of quite well made, isn't it? Again, don't know who it is. Don't think it's anything. I suppose it's because it's red. That's why my eye was drawn to it. Where's my magnet? Yeah, magnetic. Nothing of interest there, but quite fetching in itself. I put some like reach to it. Oh, not a bangle. Go. I'd say it's quite shiny. Is that? There we go. That's uh, the plastic pieces, non glass. I think the plastic. It's it's not tarnished or anything, so it's quite quite acceptable. Oh, you've resolved it. It's there now. It is a timing thing. I know what's happened is I've suddenly gone, oh my God, I list so-and-so's live. Jumped on to have a look and the chat isn't there. And of course, some of these work very well without the chat, but some of them, if you miss the chat, you feel like you've missed it. <laughs> You're listing everything. Samantha. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Wendy. <laughs> it's very kind. Mm -hmm. Oh, and Pink Harp is listing last clothing back stock. Yes, I think this is the thing. The longer this goes on, um, I did see quite an interesting... Oh, that is glass. Thank you. Um, I saw quite an interesting video by a lady called Nicole State, who some of you may or may not know. She's an American reseller. Currently resells on Poshmark, but used to be on eBay, which is when I started watching her quite a long time ago. Um, she's actually been putting things out on Facebook asking for donations or that she would pay for people's unwanted clothing. So there are ways of getting stock if, if you can go out, if you can do it safely, etc, etc. So it may not be totally impossible, but it's going to be harder in these times for, for everybody to, to source. Oh, another stretchy. Here we have another stretchy one. I like the metal pieces on these, they're quite nice. Oh, hello again, Sam. <laughs> Some of those ladies were having a bit of a natter before we started, before I started here today. Again, it's a little bit overstretched, which probably means it ended up in a craft a lot. But there's some very nice beads there that could be used. Metal. And it jingles. <laughs> it jingles. I'll put my bracelets together. There we go. Stretches, bangles. I quite like a cuff on myself, to be perfectly fair. But you don't find those very often. Ah, oh, here we have a an enamel. I wouldn't say it's close on it. It's an enamel one. It's modern. Um, clamper bracelet. In pink and green. Pink and green. Pink and green and white. Quite cute, really. Um, yeah, probably got more of a oriental feel to it, that one. Definitely a day for bangles. Just trying to move all these nasty little tags that don't really help. Okay, this one is is glass and metal. It's quite nice. It's stretchy. It's still good and tight. Ah, it was inside out. There we go. It's actually got little rhinestones in the stations in between, and nice black glittery French jet. I think is the term there. Really rather nice. Oh yeah. Now, Sam, as in the selling Polly, have made the most incredible red velvet cake, which none of us could actually taste in the real, but I think virtually we're all enjoying it. And cake is always good. I think it has therapeutic purposes. Oh, no, I'm quite drawn to this. Well, maybe I'm not. <laughs> drawn to some things and not to others. The problem is getting them out of the tangles. So it's easy to get the bangles out first. Stretchy one, green... Brown, well, various greens, beads, um, plastic again, plasticky one. Oh, and another stretchy. Has it got bent up or is that just because it's not really held together right? Yeah. Okay. There we go. This is a bit sparkly, a bit blingy, stretchy. Maybe a little overstretched. 
Sometimes you have to have a good old look to see if they're missing stones. Don't think this one is. Can't see. Oh, I thought it was for a minute there. They've got these sort of silvery marcasy type colours as well as pearlescents. Quite strange, but quite sweet. This dressy bangle. Man, I don't know. Let's see if I can find something that's not a bangle. This is big and chunky, and unfortunately, it's broken. Now, this one wasn't really meant to contain anything that's broken, so that might have happened on the way. But I might very well see if I can find a jump ring, because that's all it's missing. It's big statement jobby, colour length, chunky, <laughs> etc. So I think with a little bit of a clean up, it's got a reasonable weight to it. And I was thinking if it's got a decent weight to it, it's probably not bad quality. It is modern, it's not vintage. And there's no accredited signature to it, so it's nothing too special. But I'm having a bit of a play with repairing things at the moment because that's stopping me getting bored. It's a beast of a necklace, but I have got this little thing with lots of jump rings that I purchased off eBay a while ago when I thought, when I get the time, I'll start repairing jewellery. And now's a good time as any. <laughs> Comfort but can't bake for toffee. Mm. Someone made honeycomb recently. I don't think that was Corinne or somebody made honeycomb. And I remember thinking, oh, I'd like that. Would I replace the stretch to sell it? I haven't got any stretchy stuff to replace it with pink hobby. So I'd probably put it to a side in a pile, I'm not doing anything with it for absolutely ages, and then think maybe I could invest in some new stretchy. This has got stretchy too, but this has quite a vintage feel. I quite like these teardrop shaped, faceted, and all the way around. And they've got the little rhinestones in between. That's quite cute. That's got a bit of a real retro feel to that. So I don't know if it is old. I think the it's it's not always easy to tell, but it's certainly retro anyway. And a lot of people like sort of greeny yellows at the moment. Strange looking thing. Get back to the deal. Strange looking things. Ah, oh, now we always get these, don't we? Oh, there's new comments and I've missed them. See, that's what happens when you're not paying attention. The hands. Ah, oh, these are missing stones. It has these little, what look like dice, I suppose, but square. Cubes, little cubes, that's the word I'm looking for. Good Lord, losing the power of word. And I'm guessing, I never know how these, ah, there we go. But it, it, it's all plasticky and it, it really isn't one of the better ones. So that's probably not going anywhere except in the bead lot. Now this has a very retro vintagey feel to it. Still a decent amount of stretch, but it's just got these lovely little sort of honey pot chick beads. Um, again, I think it's plastic rather than glass. Just has that older feel to it, I suppose. I like ones like that, but a little bit different. Oh my goodness me, stretches. Shambhala. Yes, that's like the sort of yogurt style ones, isn't it? Which I had a bit of a run on in the last ones. These are quite interesting beads. They're kind of gold painted on a sort of various blue background. Again, it's nothing particularly old, but certainly for crafting wise, somebody might appreciate that. I'm not a crafter, I don't make jewellery, that's for sure. But yeah, we did get the bracelet batch this morning. This is probably because when I pulled them out, I pulled out a whole bunch of tangly stuff that went in one bag and this was what was left. Um, yeah, some glass, glass? Sorry, I shouldn't really do that. Yeah, it's cold enough to be glass and plastic beads on a stretchy. Oh man. Uh, that has got to be one of the cheapest and worst made bracelets I've ever seen. <laughs> you can even see a line down the middle here. <laughs> that that really isn't anything really at all. Colour's nice. And fabric coloured beads that always make me go a bit because they don't stay nice. So there's going to be a craft lot with some other beads coming somebody's way, I think, fairly soon. Now this is not a bangle. 
don't know what's going on in my hair. Basically, I washed it and it hasn't actually even seen. Butterfly. <laughs> it's a big old chunky ring. But not for me, obviously. It's in a sort of an antiqued, brassy sort of look with purple and blue stones. So that's very, very clear accessories, I suspect, although I might be knocking them. It's kind of not something I would go out of my way to seek, let's put it that way. Oh, nice big chunky necklace. Not broken. There we go. Got some nice, interesting colour beads there. Zigzaggy ones and big flattened pebbly type ones. It's on ribbon, which is always a little bit of a worry, but it that looks in reasonable good nick. And it's it's M and S. There we go. So I think M and S jewellery is it's really adventurous, but it's decent quality. I think that's probably the best way to look at that. So there we go. I may try and give the ribbons an extra clean up. That's quite cool. Very neutral. Right, that's not. Let's try and put necklaces somewhere different. <laughs> uh, who's moving in where? Oh, Leanne's been baking. Oh. I was going to say, if I had someone who liked baking in the house, I'd be very, very happy indeed. Right, this is another modern. Quite nice. Another modern one. So sort of, I think these are Rivoli, where they're, they're they're not as glistening as some. The proper vintage Rivolis are lovely. Um, quite unusual. Quite nice. Collar length. Retro style. I would say that's retro. In its style, monochrome, sort of gunmetal colours. Oh, which is quite nice. Oh, our stretches. It's this weird stuff, isn't it? That looks with all the little pieces that clip together. Again, that's not really anything special, but it's somebody might enjoy that. That's a bracelet. Oops. Stretchy. There we go. Ah, sure. When people tell you you can't touch your face, it always makes it so much worse. This is quite a retro style. With a little there you go. They almost look like coins, but they're not. They're just one stone in the middle, which I think that's glass, and some tiny little stones around the edge. So the lights a bit. Can't really see them very well. Silver tone on the stretchy, which looks like it's of an age, but it's it's not overstretched. Quite nice, modernist kind of. Yes, I think that possibly was that. That has that sort of look to it really isn't it that's quite that's quite sweet actually i quite like those oh not that i can wear any of it but you know your hands get off keeping hands in jewelry for a bit yeah it's the bangle lot there we go a stretchy one of these i always think they you know they're not they don't have any value clearly but the amount of work that goes into making something that that can do that is they call it a tennis bracelet and they kind of open and clip back together it's not missing any stones, so it'll probably get lotted up. It's something else. And these are glass, I think. I think these are glass. Lovely clear beads. Again, look nice, partnered up with something else rather than notes on. You like to lick your hands after touching jewelry. It's that metallic taste, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, the wet wipes are never very far away. Yeah. I've never been over picky about all that, really, though. So I needed D. Hmm. Someone's messaging. I don't know who it is. Oh, that's quite a sweet looking thing. Another little clamper bracelet. Magnetic. See, that's the thing, you can always sometimes just see when things are start, when it starts, the edge starts to wear and you can see the copper underneath. It's all the silver tone layer over copper and it's probably missing every single one of the stones that was meant to be in there. No stones at all. 
So that's definitely not going to be any good for anybody. Another little. Not strictly this time, but maybe that for that pink shell stuff. It was all around the place in the 90s, wasn't it? There's little shell bracelets and necklaces and all of it sort of boho looking. Oh, I can't get that off at the minute. I want to try and get it off without actually cutting the thing itself because that would be annoying. But yeah, it's just a... awkward to do up one of these on your wrist though, I would have thought. And quite small. It is actually a pale pink, pale pink foal pearls. The station's there. Oh, now feeling this used to remind me, you know when you used to get the um, bracelets that were made out of sweets you could eat? That's kind of what that feels like, weirdly. They are weird little things. It's it's a stretchy that has clearly stretched. <laughs> a metal bead on there and a nice glass bead on there, actually. So I think someone would probably enjoy that in a craft lot. It's a little bit overstretched. Warm. Oh, look, that will go with the pink one. <laughs> yeah, we've seen these many, 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 many times. Oh, and a small one. There we go, faux pearls. But um, there are people that do faux pearl lots because, and although most people's weddings have been cancelled this year, um, people quite like to use them for decoration, for making pictures with and stuff like that. So. Not a totally ridiculous idea. This is kind of weird. This is a very meshy, sort of hollow, very lightweight mesh. This is very modern, obviously. This is why has that got stuck? There we go. A triple strand necklace with a magnetic clasp. I personally love the idea, although I can't actually wear them of the magnetic clasp because it saves all that fiddly faddling around. Quite sweet though. Got a kind of rosy gold one, a goldy colour one, and a silvery colour one. So nice multi strand modern necklace there, and very lightweight. <laughs> oh, stop flicking your hands off to do that. Oh, here we go again, another one of these. Shambhala, is that what we were calling them now? Oh, it's quite stiff though. that kind of design on its heart. Oh, quite like that. It's quite a nice bangle. Some bangles are nicer than others. And here's a little plastic jobby that's a little less charming. Man, we did get the bangle lot today then. <laughs> I'll save the other lot for you another time. Yeah, one of those. And this is quite retro I suppose, another stretchy bangle bracelet it's sort of like a bluey green turquoisey sort of colour I don't know we lot of oh, bangles man more of the same obviously <laughs> can't get terribly excited about these don't think I have any I really did oh it's more of a broken I had to grab a bag of bangles didn't I oh right now oh well that's a bit of fun, isn't it? Far too big for my wrist. That's very lightweight. Metallic coloured strandy bead thingies. All the best keywords here. Well, that's, now that's quite cute in its design. Very gunmetally coloured faux pearls. Little things that dangle because we all need little things that dangle there we go there's a little one there um yes 
not loose on its threads though, to be fair. Oh no. Bangle, bangle, bangles. If I'd realised they were all quite so, um, I was going to cut that one loose and there seems to be very little point in doing anything with this because, oh, maybe it isn't missing, maybe it's meant to be stuck onto that. There we go. I thought we had lost something, but it hasn't. Um, yeah, sort of. Mm. Oh, there's a dark version. I had a paler one earlier, so they might get paired up. And you know, it's quite good for doing armfuls of things if people want that look of the whole armful of angles. Not as exciting as I was hoping, but you know, overstretched beads again. These beads do feel nice though, they are plastic. And no, they're not agate, they are plastic. <laughs> yes, thank you, Lex. <laughs> I, I had to, didn't I? I just had to say that. <laughs> what interesting sorts of beads. I think someone who, with crafting could really do interesting things with these. You know, one or two are a bit scratched, it doesn't matter if you've got a decent oh, I think the whole lot is. Ooh. I just found a loose oh, a borealis bead there. I don't know what that's come off. I found some loose, loose bits here, which is a little worrying. Ah, oh, now this, thankfully, is a necklace. Oh, naturally. It's not deeply unpleasant. It's got a key on it. It's got a bow on it. So it's keys and bows. And... Jangly crystals are. Ah, I've just seen one of these somewhere else. A little crystal, and I've just seen one of these, so it's obviously come off of here. Whether I can work out where it's come off. Ah, uh, yeah, I can see there's a bit of a gap there. So, yeah, it's missing. Missing a couple of bits, maybe. So uh, that may be worth a repair if that goes with that. So I'm going to put this together. Again, there's no there's no make on it or anything, but it might appeal to somebody. And yes, definitely the order of the day. Another very retro style little bracelet there, black and silver tone, plastic and metal. Oh. Oops. It's stretchy with a little hand on it. I don't know what that little hand is, but it's very lightweight. It's not it's not giving me quality vibes. It's got little little charms on it, a star, a padlock, a key, a star, a little moon. Sorry, I love anything with the moon on. Little moon and a shell type thing and a feather. Okay, so it's obviously trying to be a little bit elemental, I would imagine. But it is plastic. And that sort of stuff where it is metal that actually feels like plastic, which freaks me out because that's just wrong. Another structured little bracelet in this tiny purple and silver tone. And this is quite a nice weighty little stretchy. Gunmetal type faux pearls and a little bit of bling at the stations in between. None of them seem to be missing. Yeah, that's actually quite nice. That's that one. I do like that colour, that kind of gunmetally colour. And coming across what appear to be loose beads and my I can't really show you but they're kind of oh no, I really can't show you kind of aurora borealis so I'm going to put those in a very small baggie and keep them because they may have come from the rest of this lot which is in the other bag ah one of these <laughs> I put it with the others of those I also seem to have one earring which is quite cute it's a dangly with a little pearl type arrangement on it. That has a bit of a 
didn't know. Could that be silver? I doubt it. It's got that tarnished look that says it could be. But quite sweet, so there may well be another one of those in the other bag. We'll have to wait and find out. I'm very near the bottom of this. I've just seen the jump ring that I think has come from that very statementy chunky necklace. I will have a go at fixing that in a few minutes. I'm just it's putting things together. Another little bead. Oh my goodness. And that is going to be with these two things. The end of a box. The end of the bag. Now we're very lightweight, stretchy, and another little stretchy with a kind of rather old, less overdone elastic on it, but some nice beads. These have actually got tiny little roses in them. They're not anything. I do, I do have a check. I, it would have things written on the end if there was anything decent there, but it, it's not. They are looky likey in the style of Pandora which I would never, ever mention. <laughs> ah, so now I'm half tempted to go through the other bag. But if I do, that's probably going to take a little bit longer than this, so I, may, I should really, if I have any self-discipline at all, save that for another day. <clears throat> oh, hello, Christine. <laughs> Welcome. You just popped in as I think I'm due to finish up. This is surprisingly cute. No silver bits. Yeah, well, maybe there's some in the other bag. There's little. Yeah, we'll save it for another day because it's been quite long. We've all got some things to do. Hard to, to show you there, but they have actually all got little, little, not stones. They're probably glass or plastic in them. That's another, another one of these weird stretchy jobs. So there we have it. Empty bag. So, um, oh, an age just popped in. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, I'm just about sort of finished up there with that impromptu live of a lot of bangles. <laughs> um, but I will come back fairly soon and, and do the other half of the bag because I'm itching to know now what these what these beautiful blue things have come off. Um, and if I've got to make for that other rearing. So, yeah, some, some not bad things in there. There's things that can be sold and things that can be lotted and things that will end up in craft lots. So, I'm not deeply unhappy with that. That's not a bad start. And that is only probably a bit less than half of the rest of the bag, which I paid £20, well, £20 and £3.50 postage. So that's about 12 quid's worth, <laughs> if that, 11, 12 quid's worth. So, yeah, more than my money back, which is really all I'm looking to do at this stage. So I will see you all later. And... Uh, uh, I believe that there's something going on at the weekend on with Nick and Andrea and, and resellers. Um, I don't have too many details about it, but keep your eyes peeled because I think we're planning on doing something of an 80s weekend. Um, beyond that, I don't have a lot of information, but obviously most you'll be subscribed to Nick and Angela and Carla and Lex and all the other people who are quite likely to be involved. So, um, yes, keep your eyes peeled because it's going to be fun. See you all later. Do the usual subscribe, thumbs up, don't, you know how it goes. But thank you for joining me. <laughs> I'm going to go now. If I can get the end, broadcast to end, I think I might have scared. <laughs> I might have scared Steel. Or maybe it was Lex. <laughs> I have no idea. Tatty bye.